guys, Kat Kerr, and I am so excited to tell you that I have a new line of foam stamps coming out with Joggles.com. Now, I've had quite a few releases with Joggles, and every time I am just as excited as the last. And the reason for that is because I, if you haven't been able to figure it out yet, I love playing with foam stamps. I have seven stamps in this release. And some of them are background stamps. Um, some of them can be used with the gel press mono printing plate. Some of them can be used as focals. And some of them can be used, you know, any way you want. I mean, they can all be used any way you want. So the first one is this one. Now they've all already been lovingly used because I've made quite a few samples. And you can see this one. That's the size of my hand, so you can see how big it is. I don't know the exact dimensions, but I believe this one's called Crisscross. I'm not a thousand percent sure. <laughs> I think it's called Crisscross, and it's just little X's, and you can see they're pretty wonky, and they would make an excellent, excellent background. This one size of my hand so that you have an idea it says not all those who wander are lost one of the most amazing quotes right by um a jrr token okay i have this one which is called labyrinth and it's just a little maze this one which you should be able to read it says i see you because I do, I see you. Because I really, really, <laughs> I see you. A pair of eyes. This one, which I called squares, even though they are wonky squares. That's kind of, there we go. And then the last one is a compass. So there are seven new stamps and I absolutely love them all. In this video, I decided to um, share with you seven simple backgrounds. Now, these are gonna be smaller journal pages and for each journal page, I used one stamp so that you can see how I used it. But again, there's so many different ways to use foam stamps and you can check out my library on, um, on my YouTube channel because there are quite a few um, different foam stamp videos to give you ideas if you're just not sure how to use them. All right, but these are the seven pages that I created and I'm going to show you now how I did that. Now I start off by using my gel press and black acrylic paint and spreading it out with a brayer. I press the foam stamp into the plate and then take a print. Using my plate as a palette, I then add media fluid to the page. Media fluid is a transparent medium which allows you to see the background. I add some splatters and this grungy background is done. For my next background, I'm using Marabou's Art Spray, and I'm using my gel press plate as my palette again. Instead of using a brush, I'm sliding the page across the plate, picking up the color, and then I dip the stamp into the spray and press it onto the page. For this background, I start by gluing on some book paper and then using Paper Artsy Chalk Acrylics. I 
I add some dots using a white sharpie and this page is done. I start this page by adding some acrylic paint to the background. I then stamp the foam stamp onto a piece of cardstock and cut it out. I randomly glue the shapes onto the page and then add some doodling to the background. On this page, I loosely add some paper artsy paint to the background. When dry, I use the lighter shade for the foam stamp and apply the stamp in a staggering format. On this page, repetition is the key. I use up all the wet paint on my palette and stamp the design multiple times. Once dry, I use media fluid on the rest of the page. For my last page, I started by adding color to the background and then adding the foam stamp design. I highlighted the design by using a white sharpie. I then added some circles and painted around the circles. I finished the page by adding tons of doodling in an assortment of pens and markers. I had so much fun making these fast and easy backgrounds using my new foam stamps by Joggles.com. For the complete list of materials used in this video, see the description below. Thanks for watching.